Hello, it's Maureen from Victorian Studio. I wanted to share with you a project that I did this week. It's a metal sculpture inside a shadow box. I entitled this piece uh, Unwound because it's supposed to convey time, something I've been thinking a lot about this week. I had in my stash quite a few watch and clock parts, gears and springs um, that I had from vintage pieces that were either broken or in pieces already. So I thought I would attach them onto an armature inside this box. Now I found the box at Value Village a few weeks back when I was hunting around for my previous project. It's all wood, it was unfinished, and I removed the back of it and flipped it around so that the glass front was now the back so that my sculpture could um, stick out the front and the side of the box. So here's the finished piece. I started out by using some foil and embossed it and painted it and then attached the armature inside so that I could attach the gears. Now these gears I've collected for uh, quite a while. I would uh, pick up old pocket watches and clock parts just so I could pull them apart. They would have to obviously be broken uh, or in disrepair uh, so that I could pull them apart and take out these uh, really nice metal gears which you would find in the old ones. The new ones are all plastic. So um, I got out a variety that I had large ones from clocks, smaller ones from watches and also wanted to use this Tim Holtz Alterations weathered clock die somewhere in my sculpture. So I'll show you how I attach that later. Now uh, in the box I lined the inside with metal and I embossed it and also used a mirror in the back. So uh, the foil that I used is the Ranger foil that's embossed. So it's this item here. It's the foil tape sheets. They are um, adhesive on one side and you just cut them to shape and then run them through the cuddle bug using an embossing folder like this. This is the Tim Holtz Alterations uh, Gears, I think it's called. And it embosses these wonderful patterns. I had to run it through a few times so that each strip was completely covered with the design. Uh, but then I uh, used a couple of paints to bring out the pattern even more. Um, I used the Ranger, the Tim Holtz Distress Stain called Tarnished Brass uh, because I wanted it to match the brass of the gears. Uh, before though I did the brass I had to have some darker color underneath to make it even more pronounced and I used the sophisticated finishes and it's called black and bronze paint. I also used the same paint watered down as a stain for the outside of the box as well. Now once I had the inside finished I was able to take some aluminum wire. This is very pliable wire I got at Michael's in the jewelry section. Um, it's very soft so it's easy to bend and so I formed it into the shape I wanted. Also painted it with the bronze and the brass and uh, then cut it down after securing it to the side and top of the box. You can see pictures on my blog of how I attached it. To make the outside of the box look weathered and worn and old, I used uh, Ranger's cra Distress Crackle Paint. I only had it in this one color, but it didn't matter. I put it on, let it dry overnight, and then used the uh, black and bronze paint watered down and painted over top of it. So that gave it a nice old wood feel. Then I um, took E6000 glue and started attaching the gears one by one. Um, this takes a little bit of time to dry, so I had to do each one in succession so it would hold 
uh, the next gear that I was putting on. I also put on this uh, spring. This is a watch spring and there's a larger clock spring in the back, again attached with the E6000 glue. I also cut apart some of the armature at the end so that it made it look like the gears were kind of floating uh, up on their own. I also took two pieces of chipboard and cut out the weathered clock die and then uh, inserted uh, clear acetate in the middle, sandwiched it between them, and then I cut the clock in half, attached everything together with glossy accents, and then attached one side of the clock to the inside and one side to the outside of the box. There's also clock hands on there, you can't really see them too well. Um, but I have those inside the clock as well. So on the back is a mirror and again it's a Tim Holtz item, it's called Mirrored and it's a nice pliable material that's um, a nice clear mirror on one side. The other side is adhesive so I just backed it with cardstock. You're not going to see this anyway when it's displayed. I'm going to display this on my desk uh, somewhere. So uh, I attached that over the glass of the back of the shadow box so that now you can see the back of the gears of the sculpture as well as the front. So that's it. Uh, that's my sculpture this week. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching how I created this. It was a lot of fun and I hope to see you back again soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.